All right, UT sports fans, here's your chance to own a little piece of cool, baby. This is a 1969 Tornado Oldsmobile UT tribute car. Painted UT burn orange. Got the Bevo horns on the hood. If we swing around the back here, we even got an airbrushed Bevo head on the trunk. This thing screams, I love UT. Whether they win or lose, I'm going to tailgate. I'm going to party. So I'm going to part with this car. It was made for a friend of mine and his wife, and they don't use it anymore, so it's just been sitting for a few years. And I decided, what with UT finally winning a game or two, maybe it's time to put this in some tailgating, loving fool's hands. So let me give you a quick uh, little demonstration of the motor and everything. So uh, I'm going to have to set the camera down because it takes two hands to raise this massive hood, especially with the, uh, the horns on it and whatnot. <laughs> All right, so we pop the hood. Four hundred and fifty-five cubic inches of displacement. It's a big, mean machine. This motor was recently rebuilt. I say recently, not time-wise, but miles-wise. It's only got about five or six thousand miles on the rebuilt. And I'm going to start it up for you, and to show you that everything's legit. This is the exhaust manifold. It's not warm, hot, anything. So we're gonna start her cold. All right. Pump the pedal a little bit. Get her prime. these old cars, you know what not. And there we go. Let's go see if she's smoking. Dual exhaust, no smoke. It's got a fresh motor in it. Interior is pretty ratty. Got some seat covers. No headliner. Let's see, the speedometer cable snapped right when I was testing it. So you got to get a new speedo cable for the barrel speedo to work. Uh, it does have air conditioning and heat. Power windows work except for the passenger side. It does go up and down super slow. You have to help it. So this is not a show car being stretched to the imagination. Oh, it has one really cool, neat feature. So in addition to the horn, I installed a That's right. It moves, baby. One of the things that I used to love doing with this car was driving around town and mooing at the little kids. And they all wanted to get up there and get their picture made on the horns given the UT symbol. So hopefully somebody We'll uh, put this monster to use with some team spirit, maybe tailgating and have a little bit of fun. And last thing I'll show you here is my adopted niece. Used this car a few years back to actually win a contest at UT while she was going there. So there you have it, folks. Come on. Now, you know you want to give the Horny Orange or AKA the Moomobile if the kids are around a nice home.